All right, so let's check out the Smart Recorder app. Let's open it up. Okay, so there's the interface for it right there. It has this grid. There is your mic button right there. And here is where your recordings will be stored. Now, let's take a look at some of these settings here. Now, we have this clock right here. It kind of tells you the remaining space enough for three hours of recording. So that's pretty handy, okay? It's automatic and manual. I'm assuming that's for the recording processing. And then when we hit that, we see about the app, remove ads, settings, and help and feedback. So let's look at the settings. So here is the settings. So sample quality, bigger rate means uh, better quality, but larger files. Pause during phone calls, so not disturb. Skip, keep screen on while you're recording. Okay, so that's helpful. Hide media player recordings will be added to the library. Let's keep going further. Uh, microphone adjustments, files location, file name and title, crash reporting. So file name and title, you can, when you record, it shows it as recording one, recording two, but you can change that if you wanted to. Date and time on the file, you can turn that on. Uh, next recording indexing, so it's telling me I have two recordings in there, so it's telling me it's number three. Uh, file name example, recording three, wave. Uh, you can find file name and recording details. Okay, so let's go back and let's look at the file location. Here it tells you exactly where your files will be located. This is Smart Mob, Smart Recorder, External Legacy, 512 MB available, and it's telling you the number two is the most active recording. There's an app button here, but I'm not sure exactly what that's for. And here we have the microphone adjustment. So let's, uh, let's give it a go and test it out. So I'm using the little tiny shotgun microphone here. It's connected to the port. So let's test it out. Okay. Okay, so there goes a mic level check right there. See that yellow line? Test to see. Checking one, two, check one, two, three. Okay, um, so but basically what that does is just, it's just a gain collaboration. Press the button, make some noise to determine maximum gain factor. Then press the button again. Okay, device, uh, it has an auto gain control so it's set to auto you can if you want to shut that off then you can just uh, calibrate check one two check one two check one two and then you hit done okay and it kind of gives you uh, a little sample of that uh, but for now I'm just gonna turn it on to auto gain control all right let's go back and uh, let's record something and show you what that looks like so Here's the microphone. I'm going to hit record. Okay, this is an audio recording, sample recording. Audio check one, two, three, audio app. Uh, smart recorder. You can see the grid is lighting up and I'm talking into the microphone. And then when you're ready, you can just hit, you can pause it and then you can resume or you can just hit the check mark button. That means it's done. That's recording three. Let's listen back to it. This is an audio recording, sample recording. Audio check one, two, three, audio app. Uh, smart recorder. You can see the grid is lighting up and I'm talking into the microphone. And then when you're ready. Okay, so as you can see, uh, it's a pretty good recording. Uh, if you have a, a nice, uh, decent mic like this, um, I like the app. It does show ads. You can get rid of those ads if you wanted to. Um, so if you wanted to remove ads, then you would you would uh, have to pay for it. Uh, and here is where your recordings are stored. So we hit that. Here are your recordings. Recording three, recording two. And then if you want to send that to your drive, you're just going to hit uh, the recording first. What you're going to do is, in order to do that, you're going to open the recording. So let's open the recording. This is an audio recording. Okay. Sample recording. And when that's re going, you're going to hit the... Audio the app. The three dots. Uh, smart recorder. You can see the grid is lighting up, and I'm talking into the microphone. Okay, so you're hearing the recording right there. 
And here you can share the recording, rename, delete, and then the details. So if we hit the details, it kind of tells you where it's, uh, the location, the name of it, when it was created, uh, the format, and then we can just hit OK. Uh, but if we go one more time and we hit, we can rename it, but you go to share, and we go to share, here are all the places you can, you can send it to. So for me, it'll be Google Drive. And that's exactly how you would do that. So you would just save it like that. And then once you have it on Google Drive, obviously you can download it and then you know add more uh, EQ and, uh, and whatnot. There's no editing on this. Uh, the, the recording is what you get and that's it. So there's no trimming uh, end or back. It's just you get the recording and then you can put it into an editing program and it'll do the editing for you. So there, there you go, that's it, Smart Recorder app. I hope you found this useful. Let me know if you got any more questions. I'll be happy to answer them. All right, bye.